Okay, so this is to discuss NI. Uh, noticed some back and forth on this in certain videos, uh, particularly with Axis 12 on like what NI is in socionics or how it's perceived, et cetera. All right, NI is just, it's gonna combine a few features, okay? Usually people who are high NI users are gonna describe being able to see things very clearly Dario Nardi describes this uh, using EEGs that NI and SI use the very visual centers of the brain in the back of the brain. Okay, T4 is more specific for uh, NI users. So they're very visual about things. They can imagine possibilities where things are going and see it almost as if it's happening in front of them. This gets talked about a lot with NI users. Um, the next major component is this focus on where things are going, the trend of where things are happening, where is society going, where is my life going, where are things going, okay, based on decisions made, serious decisions, if I choose to do this job, if I choose to marry this person, if I choose to something, okay, more serious decisions, are going to lead to certain outcomes and probable futures, probable timelines. This is what NI in particularly is known for and is good at, figuring out what are those timelines, where are things going to go, and what is that going to look like? So combining what I said earlier, they're very likely to visualize that future and see where things are going to, to be um, years down the road. Now, it doesn't mean one particular timeline. They can see multiple possible timelines depending on which decisions are made, and they can figure that out, um, or at least have some better idea of it than many other types. So this is usually the key features that you're seeing with NI users, that proclivity to look towards the future, where are things going, based on where things have been, looking at the past, and being able to visualize it, visualize these things happening, okay? Sometimes they can't articulate it. That's very common to see it. Um, and something that tends to be highly correlated with this, also according to Dario Nardi, was that using, t using intuition like this um, it's kind of like a stress response. Like you're trying to figure out how do I pick the right thing? How do I avert disaster? I'm worried about where things might go. So I need to try to predict where they're going to go so that I can choose the best option. So there's a certain component to this that is almost neurotic. It's almost negative emotionality, worry, concern, whichever adjective you want to use that kind of seems to be correlated with this, which kind of makes a lot of sense in, in many ways. This is one of the reasons why ILIs are, are referred to as the critic. Um, there are many of these types that can often seem to have a very negative doom and gloom outlook to the future. They're, they What they see the world going towards and so on, um, they often see it as we're just doomed or things are not gonna work well, it's gonna be bad, you know, whatever. That's probably more specific to the ILIs, but you can imagine IEI also having some of these kinds of thoughts or issues as well. Um, so yeah, you notice these kinds of, um, kind of pieces. Um, because of the visual component that goes into this, this particular region of the brain that gets activated this often leads to better identification of what they call better identification of lines. So in order to see a painting, a structure, a symbol on a wall, whatever, you need to see its, its lines, its contours, the shape of what's doing. You can see all the lines and things coming together and so forth to form an overall picture, an image of some sort. Um, this may also lead to why so these types are very visual, but also maybe why they might be interested in art or painting or these kind of abstract things and symbols and so forth. Uh, maybe it's the sort of person who even looks at a blank wall, but somehow can just pick out some kind of a pattern that they can see and 
come up with something from that. Could also be something that happens. Okay. But anyway, point being the visualization, ability to see things, very common. Um, seeing where things are going, which possible futures could happen depending on, on decisions made, and then trying to pick which one is the best one. This kind of correlates somewhat to negativity, um, concern, worry, you know, neurotic, negative like emotionality can often be found with these types. Uh, this also sometimes can seem very similar to SI because SI does many of the same things that NI is doing, but they're just not as good at seeing the multiple possibilities and seeing it really long out not as good as that they it's like in short their imagination is just not quite as good as the imagination that your ni users have they can just imagine more options and then try to you know uh, pick the best one it's kind of the real difference i think this is part of the reason why in typing or discussing uh, ni high ni users could also be confused with high SI users because there's such a narrow difference between the two of them there. So unless you really get them to start talking about certain things that really show just how abstract they are, you may casually kind of just see them as the same. Okay, so anyway, just keeping it short, that's just something to add with, with what NI is, how it's also going to be seen in socionics and really going to be seen really across probably a lot of different systems. Okay. So as always, uh, NI is always a really, you know, complicated element. It's always all kinds of discussion, debate about it, all kinds of stuff, you know, so we'll carry on with that, but I'll leave your comments. NI users, what do you think? I'm sure a lot of you have plenty of opinions. Um, so leave your comments below and we'll take it from there. We'll see what, what's, see what there is to say.